guys. Welcome guys. to a new episode of Living Even From Before. How is it going? You are wondering in what beautiful chairs we are sitting. Yeah. We are at Abenteuer Allrad 2022 and we take the chance that there are so many nice folks including the cameraman behind Fishy, hashtag Fishy Tools. Uh, he's filming a tour of us. Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, we are at the Krug stand because we bought a Krug and they invited us to represent our truck. And yes. of course we do that. So check out this video and enjoy the show. Yes. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home Frank the Tank for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living given for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. So we start with our tour on the back of our truck and we just give you a little peek inside. So here we have a big garage which includes a uh, hot water and cold water shower, outside shower. This is also for the outside kitchen we have, we will show you. And uh, we have a lot of storage opportunities, storage system. There you go. And with this storage system, we're very proud of it uh, because we have like, you don't see now, I don't take out the table, but we have a table here and six uh, Euro boxes. We have a lot of storage and it's easy to access. That's the advantage. And behind our storage system, we have the gray water tank. So we designed it that this we don't have to reach and it can be hidden only for cleaning i can climb in there behind the storage system is the inside reachable washing machine yeah. and above is our awesome table we can slide in and out but you're gonna see that with isabella inside the next step is our what is really awesome on this new truck we want an outside kitchen and uh, we have one we always wanted it and it's very practical we just open it, release it, boom, there it is. So in our outside kitchen, we have a slide out system. We have an extra drawer on top. Thank you for that. And here's everything, it's not organized, but everything that we have needed for, for you know cooking and everything is here and inside. So you don't have to go in and out all the time. Is it needed? Who knows? We love it. <laughs> so here we have our sink. Here you can wash all your dishes afterwards. On the other side, we have an induction cook field. And uh, while, well, let's say, you know, potatoes cooking here and you want to barbecue your meat, you do it here. Oh wow, Fabian, it's so dirty. Yeah, we use that thing every day almost in sunny days. And plus on the trade show we had a barbecue for Isabella, 20 people? Yes, that was really nice. For 20 people and we are not plugged in on the show and our system is completely working awesome. We and love it. We have a rule, outside kitchen is Fabian's job. Yeah. He is the one that cooks and he should clean too. I will clean, but the, 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 the aromatic, you know, you know the drill, guys. So, also our outside kitchen has a little drawer here. Yeah, you know, little stuff. Cleaning material, what Isabella always gives me. All right, we just went to the other side. So we have a beautiful back rack uh, on the back. Uh, it's a little tight for Fishy to film, but it's okay. Uh, this is with an electric winch. We have a 24 winch where we have a remote control that we can plug in here and then I can lift the bike up and down. This uh, part here can fall down. You can also take it away and which we took away. We have a bike stand possibility that is a triangle here and you can slide in a Thule uh, bike rack. 
uh, for two electric bikes if you want. It's all outside, we have our big spare tire. We are driving on 14 R20 Michelin's XZLs. Why? <laughs> A lot of people ask us, technically isn't it better continental or whatever. For us, we are just used to it. We always had the Michelin, we didn't want to change the running system. We just got them a little bigger and that we can say now, we have proven in the deserts of uh, Morocco and off-roading, that is definitely a game changer. Bigger tires are really worth it, we believe. Um, yeah, we have here our sand slides. I don't know how you call it in English. Sand boards, I guess. Uh, this looks like four, but it is actually only two because of our weight of the vehicle. Uh, we had to make sure that they don't bend when we use them. We never had anything like this before. We never had to use it. We always use rocks or whatever is around, but now we have them and we could use them with our Mateo on board. Now we are a little bit more safe on the way. Um, well, we have a little hinge here, but this is not for pulling a tractor or whatever. This is just, again, if we need to pull somebody out or somebody needs to pull us out. Uh, this is a flexible bumper that is right now in the upwards position, but you can also put it down uh, for safety on the highways. And uh, yes, I guess that includes the back. And we have, of course, a back camera and some lighting that we can turn off from inside and we can watch you guys when you come close to our truck. So here we just talked about the back and I show you the other side of the garage. So this is our individual setup because uh, we have our baby boy and we have a big wagon. So the wagon is, he's sleeping right now in the wagon. So here is gonna be his wagon. We also talked on the back about this uh, remote control. I have it somewhere in there because I rarely use it. We have this remote control for the back rack to, to lift up the motorcycle and you know, whatever is needed on the back. Uh, here we have some plugs, 230. Um, we have our cool water filter system that Krug and us, uh, we kind of developed, especially because we, we wanted to be able in our new truck, uh, yeah, to fill in river water if necessary. Usually you find anywhere water. Uh, talking about water, we have about we have two tanks, 410 and 420, I think, so 830 liters uh, of fresh water in our truck, and we can fill it here. So this is that you have all the the spills and everything is outside of the truck. You plug that in. You have a, a switch here to hold the water. You have a switch here to hold the water, and this system includes outside when you fill in three normal filters household filters plus if i want to or we want to be sure we can turn on the power on the uv light and uv light kills 99.8 percent of all the bacteria so we should be sure that the water in our tank is already cleaned and inside isabella will show you or well it's kind of hidden behind but we have two more filters for drinking water and we have two spigots to get water for drinking inside and Matteo, Isabella and me we drank in Morocco the water and trust us also African water is good water is it necessary to have six filters we don't know we had none three years then we started with one we started filling from one from outside sources yeah and now we are really protected in the middle in the back you see those blue Victron Energy Multi Plus 24 volt 5000s it's two of them um, we decided for that because we have everything electric we don't have any propane anymore so for us uh, Isabella is cooking now with induction inside with an oven we have a microwave oven combination she will show you later um, so electricity is really necessary but again said we are here in the trade show we are not plugged in we are parked for the trade show is now the, on the fourth day and we still have electricity. We cook for everybody. We do, you know, we have thousand watt solar plates on the roof. So this, these 10,000 watts we barely use, but we came to the border because I can check on an app. When I cook outside, Isabella cooks inside, uh, you know, TV is running, washing machine is running. Then we, we crack the six, 7,000 watts. That can happen and we are totally safe because we still have 3,000 more to give. And it's redundant. 
Um, yeah, is it needed? Again, same situation, maybe not, but you can also buy an 8,000 or 3,000 or 15,000, but we have two now and they're connected and work in parallel. So we have here obviously more storage. In our case, we use it for our SUPs. They're in here, my motorcycle boots, everything outside is in here. And those boxes are pretty awesome, big, watertight, but in Sahara dust, we realized even the Sahara dust gets in there. Not a problem, still good. You gotta be careful when you use those. We realized I threw my surf uh, gear in there and I closed, but I forgot they are sealed. So after a while I had some, uh, some mold because obviously humidity doesn't get out either. So be careful that everything that goes in there is dry. We have a little uh, little box here, so we designed the whole, or Krug did, but we wanted it to look nice. So this is also 66 centimeters, I think, or 60, I don't know really well, but this is all the way in storage. It's good for my spare parts for the long stuff. We have that here too. And in order to protect our 500 liter tank for diesel, um, we said we want one long box here that the rocks don't hit it and also we have more storage. So here we have all the outside electric equipment. If we want to plug in, we can. Uh, extra hoses, if water source is further away, that's all in here. Uh, we have our 500 liter diesel tank, which we changed. We didn't, we ordered the smallest one and then we got this upgrade uh, from uh, Mercedes. Uh, thanks for that, in the color we love. Um, here we have the two 24 volt batteries. It's a lockable system. Uh, it's not a big lock, but at least it's a little lock. Um, and here, this is a half to show you that. But here we have our TI systems. And uh, 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 this is an air filling station. So we can fill and release tire pressure or put it up again. And the good part about it, this is my old hose that can connect that too and I can fill my, my, my paddle boards or whatever. But the good thing about this one, you set here the, the bar or PSI that you need. And then you have on each tire, uh -huh, on each tire you have those hoses. So, and this is the quick connect. So we have on all tires the quick connect and I just plug it in and we can release the air. I can't do that right now without having it really on uh, because of course it needs to have pressure on both sides to really click in. But we have a video that we can show you right now how we used it in Morocco. So here next to the TI systems uh, inflation system, we have our Air Blue tank. So obviously this is a Euro 6. This is brand new from 2021. There is possibilities to drive the world with this. At Blue, you can get anywhere. And for the diesel issue, we also, I mean, you guys know, just look at our webpage. We can hook you up with the right people um, that we can switch it on and off. Uh, outside Europe, where it's not really good to have it, we switch it off. And inside Europe, we, of course, we have it on and it's always a full tank. Right now, it's like here. I have to fill up a little. Here we have an extra, stair outside stair uh, staircase which is hidden and if you open it which honestly I haven't done because usually I go from the inside on my roof but if for whatever reason you have like a roof tent on top or whatever and you want to reach it from the outside boom there you go you have a rugged system you have a staircase you can climb up you can clean up there, you can clean your uh, solar plates, which is definitely recommended. Every, depending on if you're in the Sahara every day. <laughs> yeah, that is a pretty cool invention. And you have to lock and then it's good. Click in, you're good to go. So never forget to not lock it. That's really can be loud. We experienced that. <laughs> So here we have the outside uh, vent for our compost toilet. We have a compost toilet, but we use it as a dry toilet right now. But uh, either way, pee and the poo is separated. We don't talk about this here, um, but it needs to dry. So there's a 12 volt uh, fan in there that runs 24 hours. So it's blowing out here. 
so stay away from this hood if you want to look at my truck or you see it um, here you have a line uh, airlines and a Kida I think it's called why we have that obviously you see here we decided not to have a fixed awning anymore because it's either too high or the wind is blowing too hard or it's always there we decided for a flexible one so this thing is pretty awesome you can just roll it out set it up it's a fixed awning but you can also within two minutes you can throw it in we decided for the size the length that it fits exactly in our garage um, those we have why we have that we can have sails for shade uh, and you just click them in here easy um, I don't know some people said to me you should have it maybe you want to have a surfboard rack if you go just from one spot to the other didn't think that's necessary yet but maybe in future so in here you can see the Krug uh, designed the truck in this case that the heating system is outside and you have we have two heating system one 5kw uh, diesel heater and one 9kw diesel heater and the 9kw diesel heater is for height for you know you go in the Andes we want to go to Argentina so when you are up there you guys know better why but you need a, a bigger bigger diesel heater that the diesel still works and it doesn't clog the the, the ignition or whatever and uh, this is all in this box um, and you see the two excess hoses this is one for the small one and one for the big one and above all this you see our walkthrough um, there's two doors on each side um, and we have a yeah a nice solution now because we're twisting we tested it extra and uh, in the beginning we had a little shorter version and we said well maybe it should be a little longer and now this is the standard version thanks to our testing So now we are on the beautiful front of our Arox. Uh, yeah, here we have the lighting. We are here on a trade show, so this is we are the border of the booth of Krug Expedition. Uh, we have an extra stair uh, because we got the 14R20 uh, tires from Michelin. So when you order this setup, and trust me, that's a big thing when you order a new truck. Uh, there's so many things you have to, you know, specifically ask for. And everything that you change on the on the specification changes something else. So you got to be really careful that you have everything together. So when if you just saying a side note, if you wanna if you need help to give me a little input, we have a new web page Isabella designed on www.livinggift4x4.com. Uh, you can also find now a little consulting. Maybe you wanna book an appointment and talk to us in person and ask all your questions you want. Just said that. Um, yeah, we have this extra stair in there is I Think we have I have to count now one two three four and the fifth is already in the Arox um, We decided to have this one here It's also a, a Protection so you can see here you can put your shoes when they're dirty You can leave them here before you step in I still don't do that because when I'm in a hurry I just get in and go but this is one reason and it's ventilated because this is open from the back but also this protects that people climb up and want to talk to me all the time we had a lot of situations where i don't know we were in mexico and then the military comes and knocks with the gun on your window here they will not have a chance we just like it you know the look of it and uh, we have a, a number on the side 2033 so we have 20 tons max and 330 horsepower we registered our truck uh, to 16 tons because we fully measured six and a half and group designed it like that six and a half uh, tons in the front and when you go on the measurement six and a half tons in the back so total of 13, 13 and a half tons when we have a motorcycle on the back. And they just basically told me it's better to do on 16 tons because I save some tax, it's a little cheaper. 
but uh, basically that's how we register the truck and here we have a stair system which is pretty cool because how are you gonna clean those windows hmm. you can do following you can rip a nail like a little chicken like I did now ah really nice oh it's not open even <laughs> no uh, you pull a button there you go there you go and then look at this where is it hiding here it is hiding some extra stairs and then you pull up your pants because you don't want to show the butt to the camera this is my issue all the time and then you have a handle here a handle here you can use that if you need and then Isabella please give me the paper and I can clean and wipe the whole truck am I gonna do that more often than before I doubt it but you know when I don't see I need to clean this is awesome we have up here four beautiful Hella lights they are LEDs now before we had the halogen I we tested it we just have to find the right position they're good um, are they better I don't know I have to figure that out later when I adjusted it uh, on top uh, of the truck we have a terrace we call it so it's a protection for the trees and everything and up there I can sit and have a little fun time I put my chair sometimes have a coffee and enjoy the waves so in order to open the hood to fill the oil and everything like uh, and fill in the water for the for the wipers you have to open this one here and I can't do it now because why I have a protection that's that no one else can open it they designed it like that the roof rack when you do a service you put that out on the other side the same thing you can lock it on the back and then only you can open the whole hood so I'm gonna do that now you take the key you open that that's the second piece protected for the, for the trees and then you take your key away I'm a timer one two clicks and the hood of the beautiful Arox opens and now we see what the Arox gives me possibilities not really a lot because I'm not a mechanic <laughs> but for me I just want to drive sit start the engine push a button and go so what is important to me this is the cooling liquid that's what they taught me this is uh, all the circles for the air uh, because we have a compressor this is the air con so you can check go to your mechanic and say okay the aircon doesn't work every year I think you should exchange the liquids and hold on here's the oil this is important um, we didn't have so far it's a new truck but if you if the truck says well you need to fill one or two liters here this is where you do that and the windshield wiper water thing saw it here exactly I filled it I don't know if Isabella filmed me uh, putting that in but you know how that works you just put water liquid in here and then that's it it's a big tank I don't know I think it's five or or even ten liters and uh, yeah what's important Mercedes taught me um, it's blowing right now the truck is on um, this is for the uh, air conditioner filter for the truck so you need to take that out and when you go in the desert like we did in Morocco lately uh, when we come home we have to exchange that filter that it doesn't smell and it, it filters the air inside that you don't have the, the all the sand when you have the cool driving experience this filters it out but you have to clean it every once in a while all right and it's all protected we ordered some extra protection inside there's like a little grid for the cooler that you know rocks and everything don't destroy it you don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere and uh, here you can see our heat exchanging this little pipes here um, we can also when we drive and we have the heating off but we still want to have hot water and don't want to use the electric heating system we can pump uh, the liquid 
in the back because the engine is hot and it can heat up our hot water in the back and vice versa the same if we park in a cold area or high altitudes I can preheat the engine I have another button inside the cabin that preheats the front of the engine so vice versa it's possible we have that system now included so up there you're gonna see a link and you can see the inside of the Mercedes Arox. We have done some lovely videos at Mercedes when we picked up the truck. So check them out right there. But now we're on the other side. We have, we talked about the 2033 already. 20 tons, 330 horsepower. Well, here's all the DPF filter. This is DPF filter. You need that with Euro 6. Here's another extra storage. Uh, we have uh, two electric scooters on board from uh, Movie. Thanks for that, by the way. And we also have in this box two outside 230 volt plugs that we can charge when we are using them, Isabella, me and Matteo. When we're done, we put them in, charge them. Next stop, we have already ready two scooters to go. And here you see the lovely stairs where Isabella is gonna walk up and show you the inside of our truck. All right, now it's time for Isabella to show you the inside. So we have here lovely stairs. Here's our buttons up and down. And let them down. There you go. I'm a heavy guy. Look at that. They, they hold me pretty well. So all the people, thanks for worrying about us, but they are not slippery. We have extra carpets for the winter. We have a little video here or a picture there you can see how we put them. Mateo knows already how to use the stairs. Mateo is already climbing <laughs> those stairs. Yeah, and good. now, baby, yeah. have fun with Fishy inside our truck. Come with me. <laughs> Thank you guys, see you when we see you. Bye bye.